Hey guys, I want to make a tutorial video on how to mine Grin on NiceHash. The advantage to doing this is that you'll get paid out in Bitcoin as opposed to Grin. Uh, this is what I see as uh, beneficial and this is what I'm going to do. Now, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is type in NiceHash under the coin field. And what this will do is it'll pop up all the... Uh, Nice hash pre configuration. So let's select nice hash dash cuckoo29. Click on that. The next thing you're going to want to do is select the uh, wallet. I'm going to select my nice hash wallet. If you don't have a wallet already created for Bitcoin, uh, you can create one over on the nice hash website. I will provide a link below. The advantage to using nice hash's wallet as opposed to your desktop wallet is you'll be able to monitor your miners from NiceHash's uh, web server. You'll be able to log in and you'll be able to see what's going on from there. So I'm going to select the NiceHash wallet. The next thing you're going to want to do is select the pool. So let's select NiceHash. And because I, I was sure to select uh, NiceHash dash Kakaroo, these pre-configurations popped up for me. Had I just selected Grin, these would not be showing up. Now let's select NiceHash. The order in which you select these is important. So the one you want to connect to first, you're going to want to select to select first. The second one will be your failover. So the first one for me will be USA, then Europe. USA because I'm in North America. I'm going to press apply. Now the next step is selecting the mining program. I actually personally like Gminer. I've tried a few of the other mining programs and I've found this one to be the most stable and fastest. Now let me go through some of the other ones very quickly. We have B minor, G minor, Grin minor, Grin gold minor, and Grin pro minor. I've tried the Grin gold, the Grin minor, and G minor, and the B minor. I find G minor the best as of right now, uh, March uh, 18th of 2019. Now I'm going to select G minor. Done. Now, next step would be to select setup minor config. You're going to want to do very two quick things here. First thing is you're going to want to hover your mouse over the eye icon and then click on URL host text. This will have the text automatically automatically pop up in the field here, which is great. And then we're going to want to do the same thing for the port field. Select port and click URL port. That's good. And for password, we don't need to put anything here. Extra config, we don't need to put anything here. And now we just press apply changes. Now the miner is set up. That's perfect. And now we're going to name it. I'm going to name it nice hash uh, grin2. Grin2 because I already have a. Uh, Grin 1, or I might already have a Grin 2, so you know what, I'm going to name it uh, Grin 4. I'm going to name it Grin 4. Create flight sheet. Flight sheet succe successfully created. Uh, there was no errors. So let's go back to where all the workers are. I'm going to select my NVIDIA rig, which is Da, 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 this guy right here, minor 123. Let's select it and select on the rocket icon on the top and let's select the flight sheet we just created, which is nice hash grin for. Press apply. Now let's go check out the miner. It should jump from ETH hash, which is mining at 195 mega hash, uh, 6 10 60s, which is not too bad. You know, about 24.4. Now we're going to switch over to Grin and see what we get. So it looks like right now on Grin we're getting uh, 28.16 hashes on all the cards. So 3.5 hash per second on average per card. This is what I was getting before. And uh, I find this hash rate to be very good. Now let's just take a quick peek at the mining program. Oh, let's open another one. Let's open another shell. Yeah, as you can see, this mining server is actually very overkill. 
It's got 60 gigabytes of RAM, just under a terabyte of free space, a Xeon processor. This is actually intended for rendering, but these guys intend on using it for mining. So it's not really cost effective, but it makes for a nice testing rig because most uh, programs don't crash on it. Now we're remote shelling into it. And uh, let's type in miner, which will allow us to see the mining program run. And as we could see, the local hash rate is, you know, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5 per card. And things to be seen, things seem to be working just fine. There are no error messages, none of that. So that's pretty much it, and that's how you mine great on nice hash. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it below. And if you have requests for any other videos, mining related or crypto related, please put them below. And if you want to subscribe please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. All, all links will be in the description and thank you.